this is the slide of thin skin the main difference between thin skin and thick skin is that in thin skin you will find hair follicle and sebaceous glands while in thick skin there is no hair follicle and sebaceous gland is also absent so here both are present so this is the slide of thin skin identifying points so first of all outer covering layer is epidermis this epidermis it has a stratified squamous epithelium with thin keratin layer so here you can clearly see this stratified squamous epithelium okay this stratified squamous epithelium it is stratified that means it is in layers and outermost part is keratinized so it is stratified squamous keratinized epithelium then in the dermis part you can easily see hair follicles sebaceous gland erector pili muscle and some sections of sweet glands now again this epidermis it is stratified okay so this basal layer it is called as stratum basal or stratum germinatum then above this stratum basal is stratum spinosum or prickle cell layer and then outer one is the stratum corneum cells of this cor stratum corneum dried to form this keratin now in the dermis you can see this hair follicle is present and there is invagination of the epidermis and inside the dermis this cornified hair is present then this sebaceous gland it is associated with the hair follicle then this is erector pili muscle consists of smooth muscle fibers then you will find some sections of sweet glands and their ducts this is another slide of thin skin here again you can easily see various hair follicles and associated sebaceous gland this one is the erector pili muscle so the slide of thin skin is very easy you have to see only the lining epithelium that is stratified squamous keratinized epithelium okay and the appendages of skin that is hair follicle and associated sebaceous gland and some round sections of sweet gland and erector pili muscle is also present and these feature together consist thin skin that you will see in this 10x magnification